Hi there. Hello. It's Lee and Belinda from Chateau Marais. Hope you're all well and thank you ever so much for watching us and what we've been doing up until now. So today we're going to be focusing once again on our beautiful ancient donjon and that's the building behind us here. So about six or seven weeks ago, I think it was about then, we um, made a little film about the history of the donjon or what we, what we know about the history, the, the research certainly that Lee had put a lot of effort into up until now. Uh, but today we're going to focus on a, <laughs> on a very specific, troublesome, has been troublesome to us, hasn't it? Part of the, this building, and that is the roof. Now, those of you that have uh, been watching the vlogs and those of you that have been certainly watching Escape to the Chateau DIY would have seen the donjon roof. So, for example, in the drone footage, 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 footage with a gaping hole in one elevation, which certainly annoyed me to bit. And then blow me, we got that fixed. So Lee went up into the cherry pickery, he was ever so brave. That was all fixed. And then literally, I think within a couple of months, we had another storm here, which managed to, to uh, blow off several other tiles. Well, quite a lot of tiles, didn't they? Quite a lot. From yeah. the other side. Okay, so this second repair we were going to get done um, around about March this year. But as you know, the lockdown occurred and we were... Uh, in home isolation so we had to cancel all the um, cherry picker um, and then we've been with the cherry picker working at a high level outside uh, through um, we got a we had to wait until lockdown had ended and also and we needed two days the together really conditions well. to mm. be right mm. and it had to be over two days um, and you know th that was difficult to do it's just happened though yeah it's just happened <laughs> so what we're going to do this is a retrospective film of showing you how we mm. repaired it you're going to see a guy called steve beck who we hired his cherry picker and his services for two days to help us um first of all we're going to go up inside the donjon lee was very to... brave yet again yeah i went up inside no, only on the inside though not on the <laughs> mug outside. or what not on the outside no <laughs> not this time um <laughs> Never and again what i did was we we surveyed the amount and extent of damage inside the roof and while i was up there i took the opportunity to take some film of some of the historic architectural details so that they could be you could see the actual um they're amazing, installation they? rather than just in the previous mm. uh donjon film hear me describe them and we thought for those of you that are interested in that that could be quite a, a nice thing to look at and then we're going to go on the outside of the donjon and s s assess the damage and see what we need to do to repair it beautiful day here today Lee, isn't it's it a lovely day yeah it's really lovely it hasn't been like this for a couple of days no has it's it? very hot <laughs> um it's getting hot now so um what uh, Steve and I had to do is when we'd assessed the damage there was two types of um, damage one was to the small beams that hold the tiles on because they just simply hook on and the second thing was the uh, which the, the beams had actually uh, had ingress of water and twisted so they needed to be replaced it's getting quite technical uh, right? yeah and then secondly some of the tiles that have been blown off actually hadn't come off they were just hanging loose up there so they had to be taken down because they were dangerous um, and then Steve and I had to, after going up the outside, I had to work out a solution or a system where we could integrate new roof tiles with old roof tiles because the roof tiles are interlocking via a, a mechanical, physical device, you know, a, a sort of series lock mm. like this. Um, but the new tiles are slightly different size. They don't have the same interlocking facilities as the old ones. So after some sort of head scratching, we come to the solution that what we would do was drill holes in each tile, renew the timber members, and then physically screw the tiles to the battens and actually put a safety wire for each tile as well. So that if they did work loose at some point in the future. And that's why it took two days. It took two days to do it, yeah.
So on this next piece of footage you're going to see, we're at the top of the donjon in the cage of the cherry picker. I'm not. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm. Uh, if there's a lot of camera shake, it's because I'm absolutely <laughs> cacking it up there. I, I was really that's nervous. Very, that's very that was a technical, technical term. term. Cacking it is a technical nervous. term. Yeah. It's a South uh, London technical term yes, for being nervous. Needless actually. to say, I was wearing long trousers <laughs> and a long sleeve enough, shirt. Enough, enough. Um, anyway, what, what, I, what I did was I managed to film two elements that you'll see. One is the beams that traverse the um, donjon and it shows the castellations which is the little notches out of the beams all the way along which we believe carried uh, purlins and, and floor joists mm. uh, to enable a new floor to be put on there's no other reason why they would be notched like that it's not it's not, not just decoration the roof. not decoration because you can't <laughs> see it it's 13 14 yeah. meters up and that would have carried the new floor the second thing that you'll see, and the, I think I'm a bit wobbly on this one because I was hanging out of the carriage uh, <laughs> on my harness. <laughs> Honestly, cacking is not the right term. For those of you <laughs> used to the vernacular, you know the word I want to use. Um, and what I've done is filmed some of the night's windows, the windows that they used to sit in and use as lookouts that have since been filled in. And also I managed to film the filled in doorway and the portal at ground floor level with the date it was filled in which i think is 18 21 1822 yeah. something like that. it's not that yeah. clear from the cement books but i hope you um get get the gist when you see the film and apologies for any screaming that you may hear <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed my nervousness on the previous bit clip. Didn't notice at all. <laughs> and um, so the next clip you're going to see, what we're trying to do, I was trying to do is to show the dark line that runs all the way around most parts of the a high level part of the donjon. What was that for? Which Lee? I think indicates where a second floor was or oh, yeah. the first floor level was. And it comes right underneath the... Is that where well, they would have removed that... A huge beam yeah and put it into the yeah there was it in the shutter yeah there was okay. an upcycled beam that we'll talk traversed about that the, on another on another yeah when we do blog, the salon mm. but they cut a very significant oak mm. beam you'll see the ends of it cut off in fact you can see Ooh, see behind me just here that's the yeah. beam there yeah. um and it's cut off inside it's quite mm. substantial and it's oak um, but the dark line shows where the floor would have been and it comes level with the existing high level fireplace. You'll see on the high level fireplace there is the crest for Ooh, with fleur -de -lis. Jean de Marais. Um, He's got four fleur de lis yeah, up in at, quadrants. Up until the French Revolution, uh, I believe you weren't allowed in France to use the symbol of the fleur de lis. Uh, unless you had direct lineage to the Dauphin, the king, or that you'd pledged allegiance to them and, and your, you know, all your armies or whatever would, in, a, in the event of a disaster, be behind the king. Um, well, this guy didn't use one fleur de lis. He used four uh, and Very really important. over the top because he considered himself extremely important. <laughs> he was the VIP of yesteryear. He was the yesteryear's <laughs> VIP or in common Celeb. parlance, the big, Billy Big whatever yeah. of today's the day. The local big cheese of <laughs> The Mariah. big cheese, the grand fromage. <laughs> So 
So here we are inside the donjon. I'm just gonna go up to look inside the roof. And there's a few slight glimmers of daylight through the tiles there, but most of it's gone. And by the time we put that last ridge tile on and the small tile that's gaping light through, we can fill the others and um, that'll be waterproof. So we hope you enjoyed that uh, little little repair film. shop <laughs> film <laughs> of the donjon roof um, with Lee once again being terribly brave in the bucket at high level. Um, so I, for one, am mightily relieved that that job has now been done. Now, there's still a bit to finish, isn't there, Lee? There's a bit on the outside that needs some yep. aesthetic yep. finishing, but... The most important things for me are that the roof is watertight because that was a real worry for me. This is an events venue for us, no kidding. We've got three events booked in September. So it's watertight and it's safe. And those two things are of massive importance. Uh, also, yeah, they're, they're the most important thing, but equally pleased that, that we've managed to find a fix between modern and old materials yeah, that's true. that retains the integrity of the building, which is very important to us, with minimal modern integrity. And also, it's got to be said, we've been able to do this fairly cost effectively. So to have a, a new roof on a building like this would cost more money than I think we would ever have. Yeah, we couldn't. We couldn't, we couldn't achieve it. We just roof. couldn't have afforded it's it. It's a at huge all. roof. So this, it's been a bit of a compromise. It's a little bit of a patchwork, but we love it, mm. and it's doing a job. It's doing its job. And I'd, I'd just like to say to wrap up to, to Belinda, really. Yeah. You notice where the sun is in the sky, it's, it's over the yard arm. And I'm thinking I should experiment. For those of you who know, I, I've, I've made some no. rather exotic cherry jeep. No, not the cherry And I, jeep. I'm thinking maybe it's time to bust one of those bad boys open. Sorry. And that, no. Sorry. We've got to wait. It can't be four months. You wait for Maybe that. three. Anyway, um, we'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay well. I'm Bye back for, for now. lemonade. Bye. From Chateau Marais.